Whenever you hear or see a snake, the first thing that often comes to mind is whether it is venomous or non-venomous. Identifying this can be crucial, as recognizing the difference can keep you safe from harm. Fortunately, there are some simple ways to distinguish between venomous and non-venomous snakes. These distinctions are based on characteristics observed in a variety of snakes, including some of the world's most venomous species. One of the most noticeable differences is the shape of the head. Venomous snakes typically have a triangular or V-shaped head when viewed from above, while non-venomous snakes usually have a more rounded head. However, some non-venomous snakes may flatten their heads as a defensive mechanism to appear more intimidating, making identification tricky. Despite this, the base of a venomous snake's head is generally wider and tapers gradually towards the end, distinguishing it from non-venomous snakes. The shape of a snake's pupils can also be a clue. Venomous snakes have cat-like vertical slit pupils, which are well adapted for hunting and striking prey. These elliptical pupils allow for better focus and vision in low-light conditions. In contrast, non-venomous snakes typically have round pupils, similar to those of humans, as they do not rely as heavily on advanced night vision. The texture of a snake's scales can help identify its nature. Venomous snakes generally have smooth, plate-like scales that enhance their agility and precision when striking prey. Non-venomous snakes often have rougher, overlapping scales that provide them with extra protection against predators. Shape of the tail Tail shape is another distinguishing feature. Venomous snakes often have whip-like tails that taper sharply toward the end, designed for swift movements and accurate strikes. Non-venomous snakes, on the other hand, tend to have thicker, more robust tails resembling hammers or clubs, which provide added protection, rather than speed. Behavior Behavioral differences can also help differentiate venomous and non-venomous snakes. Venomous snakes are often more aggressive and display defensive postures when threatened. However, extremely venomous snakes like the black mamba or inland taipan are rarely encountered and generally avoid human interaction. Non-venomous snakes, being more common in populated areas, are often less aggressive and more likely to flee than to confront. Venom Glands and Fangs Venomous snakes have two large venom glands connected to ducts that lead to long, hollow fangs in the upper jaw. These curved fangs inject venom into prey through a process called envenomation. In contrast, non-venomous snakes have rows of short, blunt teeth designed to hold prey until it can be swallowed without injecting venom. Coloration. Bright coloration is another common trait of venomous snakes, serving as a warning to potential predators. Non-venomous snakes, on the other hand, often rely on camouflage to blend into their surroundings and avoid detection by predators. While this isn't a definitive rule, bright distinct patterns often indicate venomous species. Skin patterns. The skin patterns of venomous snakes are often distinctive and include diamond, hourglass, or chevron shapes. These patterns are usually bright and easily visible on the dorsal side of the snake. Non-venomous snakes, in contrast, typically have blotched, banded, or lined patterns that are less striking and serve as camouflage. Some venomous snakes also have a prominent line running down the middle of their back. Safety Tips if you encounter a wild snake, always admire it from a safe distance. Identifying the snake's characteristics can help you determine whether it is venomous or non-venomous. But approaching any snake is risky. Remember, most snakes prefer to avoid human interaction so respecting their space is the safest option. These were all the characteristics we found helpful in differentiating between venomous and non-venomous snakes. If you have any additional insights or unique methods to make this distinction, do share them in the comments below.